Action. Action. Hi, everybody, and happy Monday. Uh, I thought you were going to say Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> it was close. And, um, so I can't believe it's already the end of August. Yeah. So, yeah. So, what? It's crazy. It is crazy, that's for sure. It actually cooled down in Denver, mm -hmm. too, for those of you out of state. Um, we actually are in the 70s. It's wonderful out there. Uh, except it's cold in here today. I tried working. Maybe yeah. More cold. <laughs> <laughs> she is so funny. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. Oh, oh goodness. So today, Christine's going to finish up the mystery on uh, love notes. So um, it's turning out really cute. It is super cute. It's really, really awesome. Um, so again, I just got bit by a bug. What? I got bit by a bug. That was just now. Yeah. Yeah, look. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> if, if Christine goes into convulsions in 15 seconds, that's why. So uh, hopefully you're going to be okay. Ouch. You got to get rid of bugs. Now I'm going to feel like I got bugs all over <laughs> So, um, <laughs> so we have um, a winner from Friday. Um, we are actually going to give away Christine's cute from the bike shop, her, um, her cute little design. Everybody loved that. They did, I know, yeah. that's pretty cool. So, Diana Davis is going to win our hey, Diana. Disturb, I'm Busy. I like it, it's cute. So, I'm going to hang that on my, on my back of my computer. <laughs> that's right, do not disturb. Actually, maybe I'll just tie Leave it around my neck. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> See if it works. That's right. Um, also, again, as you guys know, on a week from this Wednesday, every time I say that, it panics me, um, we're going to be doing our new products launch um, on Facebook Live. So we're actually going to be preparing it um, this weekend. We are also going to be putting it on YouTube. But again, we're going to be doing just the same type of a live presentation we always do. We have so much fun with you ladies that we're going to just do it as a live. And gents, that's right. I, I got reprimanded for saying ladies too much. There's gentlemen watching us too, so we need to. I need to keep that in mind. I think it's me. That's right, exactly. But I wanted to show you. I actually sewed out the fills, the new fills for um, the upgrade. Again, this is for the Solaris 2 upgrade. And if you bought a Solaris 2, it's already on there, of course. Um, but again, we use the new feature where you could bring in a um, a design and then just put the fills in, in embroidery. I didn't even use IQ Designer to do this. So pretty fun. The, the fills are awesome, cool, really, really neat. Um, I, I like the geometric ones especially. There's several of them on here, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, the, that triple, I, I mean all of them. I just think they're so cool. This is I'm gonna use this one today. Are you? Are mm -hmm. you? Oh, good deal, that's awesome. So again, just did a little bit of, um, um, a little sneak peek of what you get to see a week from Wednesday. Again, that'll be at two o'clock, and um, we're really looking forward to that. We got a lot of cool stuff to show you. So, will you send them a product list in advance and tell us how we should order during the product launch? We will we will. Several different ways for you to order. So we realize that some people uh, are more into. Um, being able to download something and fill it out and then maybe scan it back and so yes we've got several different ways so um, the supply list for that day we're going to probably have it up a couple of days ahead of time the, product, the new product wish list? The wish list, okay. yeah, exactly. So we will have a wish list for you before we even do the new product launch. So um, you can print that out and follow along with us. It'll go in the order of the um, of the PowerPoint. So for those local people will be able to download it here in the store and they'll be able to pick up a hard copy in the store too. That's true. Yes. So we'll um, we'll have that all hopefully prepared for you by next Wednesday. Um, I do have some jokes, by the way. I'm pretty proud of my jokes this time. You guys ready? We're ready. <laughs> it's pretty scary. So our George Clooney, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Matthew McConaughey get together to make a movie. Perfect. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Clooney says, I'll direct. DiCaprio says, I'll act. And McConaughey says, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Get it? All right. He's going to write the movie. 
Oh. So, it, was like, <laughs> it was okay, Patrick. <laughs> it was like a five. You led us up for something good by giving us those three great actors, what? and then you say that. All right, all right, all right. I think oh. it was funny. <laughs> okay, so it was funny. Why are crabs so bad at sharing? Because they're shellfish. <laughs> See, that one's funny. <laughs> All right, so with that, I think that's that turned out. That's all I have. Yep, I'm here all night. Oh, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you can show that I finally finished oh, yeah, yeah, Winter yeah. Wonderland. So we do have the we Winter have, Wonderland. And projects. we have the kits here. You, you can go to call. If you signed up, but if not, this is the advent calendar that you do. So it has that all the so little cool. 3D lace ornaments and you can kind of stick them inside of the pockets it's that might so be my cute favorite, favorite Kimberbell project and the lights the I think it's adorable. and then the little cardinal and the really cute little santa pillow and this is probably one of my favorites is you the like little that? yeah there's a little ice skate with the things <laughs> with the, the wool the balls <laughs> <laughs> so if you haven't signed up it, there are still spots available for it so this is a two day event um, it is the Kimber Bell's new winter wonderland and it is $169 if you um, haven't signed up and you would like to but I just wanted to show you guys the advent calendar because it wasn't finished but I got it done Mm -hmm. about 12 kits yep. remaining. Yep. So if you want to join us, uh, we still have that available. All right. But are we ready? Okay. So. With that, we are going to finish Love Notes. Are you filming me? Okay. Film Kate's filming me. Oh, got it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, where's my box? Hi, everybody. Okay, so hopefully everybody picked up their section five because um, it does reveal the quilt. Um, so I have it sort of laid out here um, in the sections um, that you sew them together. Um, and I'm going to kind of talk about how we're going to do today um, and then see about how we want to completely finish up this um quilt okay so this um the first thing that we're going to do today is we are going to finish our very last embroidery block which is the little um bird the teal bird um with the envelope so we're going to go ahead and quilt our background block we're going to do our embroidery and then we will trim that down and that piece will be ready to complete the quilt um what i'm also going to do is if you guys look at the quilt you have this large gray block up here that really doesn't have anything on it except for these pictures. And um, I'm kind of excited to finish this because when Amanda and I went to Kimberbell, they had like a graduation party thing and we took pictures just with these cameras. And so I actually have some of me and Amanda at Kimberbell and um, of Chris and everybody. So it's kind of, or Kim and everybody. So it's kind of fun. Um, that I will be putting on there. You actually have those in the yeah, office. Yeah, I do. So um, we are going to quilt that block today. So just kind of a recap on a, the quilting the blocks. Um, and then we're just going to leave that one blank. And then we are going to, um, because I said I was going to do this and it didn't happen, um, I am going to take you, uh, walk you through two different ways on if you've already done your embroidery and you want to do the quilting. So I'm going to take you on how to do that as well. Okay. So um, those are kind of what we're going to tackle today as far as embroidery goes. And then we will see how we are going to put it all together if we're going to do it um, on a live or just kind of check back in and show you what we've finished. So um, the first thing we're going to start with is our first embroidery block. Okay. So I think I could have used a smaller hoop. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. So, if you guys have the Solaris 2 
or the second upgrade for the Solaris 2 or for the Solaris, you will be able to do this last block just like the way that I'm going to go over it today. So I'm going to go into section five and I'm going to go into the embroidery files and I'm going to bring in our last design. Okay. So I have the four by four hoop. Um, hey, Patrick. I can use a smaller hoop for this. I think. Okay, I think we just had a couple of questions. Um, I think we're going to need to look to see in the instructions what size to trim, and I'm not sure which block you're referring to, Patty. So if you let me know which block you are referring to. Um, Bridget, my email is kate at aboveandbeyondsewing.com. And then I don't remember who asked, but somebody asked about the reschedule on Twilight. Um, we have not rescheduled that because if you have your kit, you're one of the lucky ones. Not everybody has their kits yet. Okay. So your um, if you have, so we're going to pre-quilt this block, um, but I'm going to do it and I'm going to bring in my embroidery first. I am then going to click the edit button and I'm going to click my stippling. And that is going to put a lot of quilting in here. I'm gonna change my hoop size to a five by seven because I'm not using that large, large, large hoop. So I'm gonna find the five by seven. Too many is there hoops. a five by seven? Yes, there has to be. There it, there it is. Okay, I'm also going to change the distance around my embroidery here. I'm going to just change it um, a little bit. I like a little bit of a space. I do too. I think it looks nice. Um, so I'm going to do... Okay, maybe we should change the fill. Um, so we are going to change the fill to the circles. So I'm going to do the circle. I'm going to push OK. So that is automatically going to fill in and do the circle for me. And I am going to do a little bit more distance. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay. I am going to change this as well to make those um, a little bit bigger. Okay. And I'm going to push OK. So now I have set quilting into my hoop size. Um, and I have done that on the outside of my embroidery. I'm going to go ahead and push embroidery and I want it to do the quilting first. So I'm going to go to layout. Is that right? Or is it the one before? It's an edit. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Oh, no. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to ungroup. Yeah. So before you take it to embroidery, sorry guys, you're going to do your ungroup button and then you're going to go down here and push your swap. And I am going to swap that. So it does my embroidery or my quilting first and then my embroidery. And I'm going to go ahead and push. Okay. All right. So now I have um, Jean, yes, you can still sign up for the Kimberbell Winter Event at this time. We still have it as an online sign up. So you can either sign up through our website or you can call one of the stores and get registered. We just got the kits in on, I believe, Friday. And so we've been in the process of calling everybody. I believe we have about 12 extra kits. So we have enough space for about another 12 attendees. All right. Can okay. I borrow your instructions for just a minute yeah. so I can answer a question for oh. somebody? And before I do my quilting, I am going to put push my project, projector on just to make sure that I'm getting the quilting on my fabric the way that I would like it to be. And that looks awesome. So cute. Okay. Do you know if the gray block... I don't think it tells me in this set of instructions. Christine, do you know if that gray block that is up in that top right corner, if the size that they tell you to cut is the actual size you need? It probably is, it right? Is. Okay, so there is no trimming on that top upper block. So, and, and I, I was going to talk about that when I do the quilting on it. So 
Um, if you haven't cut that piece yet and you wanted to do pre-quilting and then trim it down to the six and a half by 12 and a half, you can. Um, if you already have, you'll just leave it that six and a half by 12 and a half inch piece. So the feature that Christine just showed on the should Solaris, no, you're fine. Oh, okay. um, with being able to switch the order is a feature on the Solaris 2 upgrade. So it is not available on a Destiny or if you um, don't have a De Solaris 2 or the upgrade 2 then you wouldn't be able to do that so and then so the way so basically when I go to do the quilting on that blank gray block um, is how you would do it um, I'll, sh I'll just kind of walk you through is how you would do it if you didn't have that function okay um, is the way that I'm going to do that one Okay, so for today's block, you're gonna need your last piece of the white on white hounds tooth, your last piece of the blue with the white stripe, and your two pieces for the teal, the two pieces of leather for the teal bird, okay? Patty just said that she's going to embroider family on that one block. Cute. That would, that yeah, would be so a really cute idea. Yeah, that would be idea. really cute too. Um, just like, um, or anything you could embroider wording I think that would be really uh -huh. cute instead of having the pictures but I'm gonna make mine just like theirs because <laughs> I'm boring So Christine won't necessarily pre-quilt every block because no. there's some of them that are really just really small like two by two blocks. Um, but every piece of fabric will have the Baby Lock Ultra Soft Fusible on the back of them so that they all have the same consistency to them. And then when she stitches them together, um, she will just put the backing on and maybe do a little bit of in the ditch stitching to hold it together. Okay. Okay. So I think before when I have talked to you guys on like, so like these blocks, for instance, don't have any embroidery on them. Okay. So, and because they're so small, I did take and cut ultra soft and put them on the back of each of these pieces so that when I sew them together, it's consistent. Okay. But when you look at the when you look at the finished quilt, like these, when we cut the sashing pieces and the border pieces, I will sew these on and then just put a little piece of ultra soft inside of there just to keep the feeling of it consistent. Okay, um, so once we do that piece, we'll do just like a long piece of ultra soft or okay. a piece piece of ultra soft kind of. Very cool. Okay. So Christine literally has just used her scraps of the Baby Lock Ultra Soft Fusible and cut whatever size square. So I think these are two and a half yep. inches. So she's just cut a two and a half inch piece of square batting on there. These ones that she had the embroidery on already had the batting on there okay and then there really isn't any other plain blocks other no. than the tiny little squares and right the big one up here so i also have my ultra soft on there and i am going to quilt this block um so it has something on there so that is why i did also prep that fabric okay perfect mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and stop early because I don't need it to do the 
square around it because this whole block is going to get trimmed down. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and advance. Terry to said it's part. only taken five months, but she just got her first email from us. <laughs> Wanted to say thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, <good. laughs> funny. so the first um, is going to be a placement stitch for the striped blue fabric. Hopefully you all got an email today from us. Uh oh. Now you started it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then you're gonna place your blue striped fabric down and do your Mm -hmm. I bet you have some handy dandy scissors over there you're about to use, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Christine just realized she's going to need her handy dandy scissors and she uh -oh. she just left me. Where are they? Here, Bell Patrick. Them. You got them? Yes. She stole them. All right, then we're going to trim our fabric with our super awesome, amazing, beautiful scissors. What are we making today? Today is the final sew day for our mystery um, love, love notes. notes from Kimber Bell. I can't believe August is already over. And then you'll do your placement stitch for the white fabric. Kind of pulled my thread out there. Yay, Jean. We're glad you signed up for the winter event. Okay, and then we are going to put our piece of white fabric down and Kate suggested that I double fold it because it might show the dot fabric through it. So if you want to, you can just double fold that and put it right over top and it should Work. I think it actually tells you in the instructions about putting like something. SF SF yeah. 101 or color color keep. color keep topping or something. But if you don't have any of that handy and your piece of fabric is large enough, you can actually just double that up. I think it did on one of the blocks that I did for you. But that piece worked perfect. trim that fabric stabilizers is a choice um uh, there is no reason why i'm wear wearing wearing <laughs> <laughs> why i'm using fusible other than it was just what we have open that i grabbed um your needle just um came and threaded um personally when i do most of my kimberbell projects i'm just like christine i use the baby lock ultra soft fusible okay um christine likes to use no show mesh in the hoop I quite often will put a tear away in the hoop um, and so it just it becomes your preference it really does it's whatever you you want to use. I don't ever use a tear away unless it specifies to use a tear away. 
And I don't know, what did, you, did they specify in not, this one? Not really. Um, it, there wasn't, they didn't really ever specify what um, to, to do. It just kind of gave you a suggestion at the, in the beginning on what to use. Jean, we can help you with that. Basically, what you need to do when you select your square, before you fill your square, you have to tell it, you have to basically tell it that it's a no sew square. Gonna You're going to do that? Oh, Christine's going to cover that today. I am. Um, and then you have to click on your fill button and click on the outside of the box, and then it knows that you're telling it that you don't want that to be sewn. But she's going to do that. What is the cost of the scissors? The scissors are $31.99. Yeah, with the quilting in the hoop, a, um, a cutaway would probably be a better option, such as what Christine is using um, as a no-show mesh. I think we might be here till four o'clock. You've got like a lot on the schedule for them here today, Christine. Oh, I only have three things. We should be just fine. We close at six, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. Um, I don't. We're not gonna sew it together. I'll just kind of. That would just take me so long to sit here and sew it all together. Um, but I think I was going to. I don't really know. They're saying no new goodies to tempt us with today. We could probably find <laughs> some. We have some here. <laughs> we're saving those. Um, this is just techniques. Um, because I mean, we could talk about the 3D embellishment. Shall we ask them if they want that? Not today, but should we ask them? To have me sit here and sew it together? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, so let's take a poll. Um, whether you want a live that um, shows you how we stitch this together in the to the different rows and the segments. So um, either tell us yes for another live or tell us nope, you got it. You can handle it, it together. Like, you, I will show it again once you I'm can handle it from done. here. <laughs> New fabric question mark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna change it to red for the heart. No surprise here, Connie says no mine's already done yeah see and i feel yeah. like a lot of people i mean it's just sewing them together and they break it down into the rows which i obviously will sew mine together and show you i it. think we're four yeses and three no's at the moment no i think we can just show it tomorrow right because i'll have it done You'll have it all sewn up tonight, <laughs> quilted and bound. Yeah. I, I think it's kind of, I like the fact when you do the pre-quilting because you really don't, you can um, just kind of do some stitch in the ditch, which I think is easier than trying to do quilting. How about a YouTube video? That's a great idea, Claudia. I guess if we just did a video that wasn't live and posted it on YouTube, at or least that way. Just posted it onto our Facebook page or YouTube. We correct. Like and then at least that way, then people have the option. Those that want it can go out and see it. That'd be a good idea. Oh, you're talking about doing the sewing so together. Yeah, I asked That's whether they wanted idea. a. Yeah. We can do that. Patrick will get right on that, ladies. That's right. I'm all over that. <laughs> He'll sew it up for us. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I do not have a date that we will be starting mystery number eight. I am still putting kits together, ladies. 
So um, it'll be at least a week or so. Okay, so I'm gonna do the placement stitch for the teal leather. Um, and make sure that you've changed your color at this point um, so that it matches your leather because it is a raw applique. Mystery A is still available. So if you're wanting one, if you can just put um, a message on here where you will pick it up from here. Remember, for those of you that will watch these lives later and we're not live, if you have an order, you need to call a store or email us your order. Because once we have gone off live, we do not see the orders. Okay, and then when you trim this one, again, you sort of leave in like an eighth of an inch seam allowance so that it's not right up to your stitches. So what will we watch tomorrow? You'll watch us tomorrow, Patty. Tomorrow we are doing the next part in Mystery 7. that would be um it's a great idea but a crossbody bag is probably not a one hour project unfortunately okay so do the next placement stitch for the wing mystery seven is tomorrow we've already done the cutting directions and then we did the first part in the sewing and now we will be moving on to um the next um the next stitching part how many parts is that one um two more mm. they already want to start mystery eight yeah <laughs> <laughs> the eager mystery seven <laughs> i've lost track that's a good question. When is Patrick doing the bobbin one? Patrick thought he had to leave early today, ladies and gents. So he has already left the house. Um, I think, did he say he was going to do that Wednesday? Uh, we'll just assign yeah. it to him. I'm I, okay. Or are you going to do Wednesday? I'm doing Wednesday. He can do Thursday. Okay. Patrick's going to do Thursday, ladies. Okay. Now we're going to do the little bushy tail at the back. And we're going to do that in the pink color. Look how cute. It is so cute. So we will be doing mystery tomorrow. Christine has Wednesday. And then Patrick will be doing the bobbin work on Thursday. Friday. And that's another week. Is this the last color? I it has to do the um, like the eyes and mouth. Oh, or just the eyes. So just one more color after this one. Uh, black. So no, our stores will be closed on Labor Day, which means no live next Monday, ladies. 
I have not tried the electronic cutting files for the lever. Have you, Christine? Um, I don't. They normally don't have, I guess I didn't double check, but they normally don't have them for the raw edge applique. Because of it being pull, mm -hmm. pulling out? And it's normally, they need to be cut bigger, but I, I need to double check that. I have cut leather with the electronic cutter, but I haven't done it for an applique. I normally don't have it because um, it's raw. We are all done. Okay. So now with this block, we're going to go ahead and take it out of the hoop and we are going to go up to the cutting table and we're going to find the rotary cutter. That's a big one. You're going to use your four and a half by four and a half inch orange pop ruler. Okay, so we're going to sort of center that looks good and oh, cut and cut I would definitely use a smaller rotary cutter hopefully that cut yep okay and now we are completed with our last block where does basically. this little guy go so this little guy goes next to this one. Hmm, I presumed he had a home somewhere. Okay. So all of our blocks are complete. Yes. So why don't we walk you through on how to do this one because I do want to show you guys this one more importantly. Okay. Um, so you guys know how to do uh, the block. If you've already done your embroidery, how to do the quilting afterwards. Because I know people have asked about that. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hoop or put my um, block on here. I'm going to go into, I'm going to show you the first way, which I think is the easiest way to do it. Okay. And that is going to be going into embroidery, right? Mm -hmm. Is this only for the people who have the upgrade? You can put a stamp on it and fill it. No, they can do that. But any, any salons can okay. do that. Okay, so you're going to go into embroidery, and you're going to bring up the design that you want. So this one was in section four, and it was one of the mailboxes. Or, okay, so I'm going to bring that in, and I'm going to push set. And then I'm going to go to my edit, and I'm going to do this. Yep. I'm going to... Sorry, I just don't want to say it and it'd be wrong. <laughs> so I put a stamp around this and I can change that distance a little bit. And I kind of like a little bit of distance, so I'm going to change it a little bit. And I'm going to push cancel. Right? Uh-huh. No. On. No. No, you don't want the inside on. Oh, memory. Oh. you got to save it. Okay. Sorry. No, that's okay. I was like, wait. Okay, so we're gonna save it to memory and it is going to recall from the IQ pattern stamp list and we're gonna push okay. And then you're gonna go into IQ. Now? Mm-hmm. That seemed easier last time. Okay, and then you're gonna go into your IQ and your memory pocket. What are we doing wrong? You are going to, it's not in your memory, it goes into your shapes. Oh. So it's in your shapes and in your stamp one right there. And this? And there it is. Okay. And then we're going to go here. So what that has done, that automatically brought an outline in of the project for Christine. Okay. Okay. So now we are going to, so you can see that I've taken, I've put a stamp around here. Sorry. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't remember. Um, <laughs> so I have the outline of the mailbox and then here is my quilting block, which typically I actually need to make that bigger, right? To fill it in right here. Yes. Okay. So, but, um, we're going, so you would to push size, right? Size is going to make the whole thing bigger. You don't want to make the whole thing bigger, right? Just the block. 
Okay, so it has this little weird piece right up here. Okay, so she would need to get rid of that. So if you go to your eraser, and then you can just erase that out. Okay, and then you're gonna bring in a square around it. Yep. Or a, oops, a rectangle. Okay. And then you can just go to your... Okay, shapes. Yep. Okay, and let's say we have a six and a half, or six by eight, oops. I'm gonna go to size, and I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna come down in size, no, up. So we have an eight, Let's just do seven and a half. Nope. Oh my gosh, come on. By six. Okay, so now I have a square around or a rectangle around my design, and I'm going to go into my line property and I'm going to select a no sew. And I'm going to push OK. I'm going to do my fill bucket and I'm going to touch that. So now it won't sew the outline of that block. OK, um, but now I can go and I can fill it. OK, so let's do this one. We're going to push OK. We're going to choose a color. We're going to do our fill bucket and we're going to touch inside there. So now it has filled that rectangle around our design okay so if we go if we push next we can again we can adjust all of these things so I can make them bigger I can make them wonky um, you can do whatever you want to do with it okay so I'm gonna push next and it's gonna take it to our embroidery screen so the next thing that you would need to do here is do your projection or do your camera and scan it in and make sure that your quilting, so, kind of hard to see, huh? Okay, so you would need to make sure that when you have this place is going around your design, okay? So I look pretty good up there. I wanna come down here. And so if I move this, you'll see that there's an empty space right here. And so my, um, the stem, st the <laughs> post, the post for the mailbox is going to fit directly in between there. And it's going to quilt so on the outside of that. Can you see that ladies, how she's making sure that the, the post of the mailbox is in the section that doesn't have the quilting. So now your quilting will be on the outside of your embroidery. So this would be a good time to use fusible. So you could actually fuse the block down once you have it placed where you wanted it to go. So mm -hmm. it doesn't move on you. Okay, now the other way to do this is to start in IQ and scan. So we're gonna do a scan image or mm -hmm. an image scan and we're going to press scan and it is actually going to take a picture of what is inside of our hoop. Okay, so it's gonna scan your hoop. And it is going to bring it up on our screen. And if I click this, it'll make that darker so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So now I need to zoom in. Is that good? And I am going to go to my line properties. And I'm going to click on my line here in no so, right? Yes. Okay. So we're going to do the little lightning bolt one and a no so and we're going to push ok and now what you're going to do is you are going to take a mouse and you are going to click and we're basically setting a perimeter around our mailbox okay and if you so i really made this so I could see really well. If I take that down a little bit, you can see my line a little bit better. I think they can see better. it, yeah. You can see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I know this is not going to be perfect, but I just want to show you guys on how to do it. And then you have to use the hand. Okay, here, 
right? Mm-hmm. And then all the way down and all the way over here and all the way back up. And then if I use the hand and move it over, it'll actually connect that last one for me. And I just click here, okay? And then I can... So basically, ladies, instead of using it and creating a stamp out of the outline, she has manually traced around and set um, stitch points, but unsewn stitch points, a border around the design. And then you're going to do the same thing, and you're going to bring in a shape, okay? And you're going to size that shape. And this does make it a little bit easier if you've already cut your material as well so you can see exactly what size you need oh no. christine when you sew your blocks together are you going to be using um the digital door feed uh, when i sew them together mm -hmm. yeah with the quarter inch yeah yes absolutely okay that's fine so then we would take and go to our fill properties and we would select a fill and I'm just going to select something and there and do that and kind of hard to here see. you go. And then you would have your quilting around your perimeter. Okay. So that's how you're going to do. There's two different ways to do it. If you've already done the embroidery on your block and that is the two ways. We're ready. Perfect. So, um, we can, I'm just going to walk you through cause I'm not going to sew these ones, um, how to do. So I have that last block that I want to put quilting on. So you would just do that this way. So you're going to start in IQ. You're going to bring in your shape. We have a six and a half by 12 and a half inch block. I have a too small of a hoop. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to do my size. This piece of fabric is six and a half by 12 and a half? Correct. Okay. okay. So I'm going to do um, six and a half here. And I'm going to do 12 or like 11.75 because I'm just using too small of a hoop. So I can at least show you guys. Okay. And again, I'm gonna go into my line properties. I'm gonna select no sew on the outside of that and I'm gonna to touch it so it doesn't sew the outside. I'm gonna go into my fills. I'm gonna select a fancy fail and I'm gonna do this one. And I'm gonna choose a color and I'm gonna do my property bucket and push fill. I'm gonna to go to next and I am going to change that to, I always just do 150 change the size of it a little bit to make it bigger and I'm gonna push set and I'm ready to put the quilting on here so again I use that projection just to make sure that I have the um, quilting where I want it to be on my fabric look how perfect that is okay so you can see where it ends here and so you can see physically where it would go so that it'll fit on your piece of fabric. Looks like it's gonna fit perfectly. Yeah, it does look good. Okay, so that's how you would just, if you had a block that had nothing on it and you wanted to quilt it, that is how you would do it and you wanted to um, pre-quilt any of the blank blocks. Cool. So I guess, um, are we just doing a video of me putting it together? Yeah, I think we will. So I think a lot of you have either already got to that point, but then there's also others that would like us to do it. So I think what we'll do is we will try and put a YouTube video together um, of um, sewing some of the rows together and getting the sashing ready and yeah. so forth. So we'll work on that. Um, it'll probably be a week to 10 days or so. Um, and then we'll let everybody know when we have that ready to go. Okay, well, thanks for joining us today, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.